Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Since, as the world's leader in chip foundry, TSMC once overpowered Samsung and Intel with its chip foundry business alone, becoming the world's most profitable semiconductor company. Even though TSMC's market value has plummeted by 77 billion US dollars in four months and has become the largest loss-making company in Asia, it is still impossible to deny TSMC's strong strength in the field of chip foundry. Even AMD's president said in an interview that if Intel wants to develop its foundry business, it will be difficult to surpass TSMC. There is news that TSMC has made another breakthrough in the field of silicon photonic chips. This news has attracted widespread attention at home and abroad. Many people believe that China will fail to overtake in a corner. Now that Huawei and Kirin chips have made a strong comeback, the United States is also helpless. However, Behind the strong return of Huawei and Kirin chips is actually the fact that Huawei has been suppressed for four years. In the face of being cut off from supply, mobile phone shipments plummeted, and revenue was directly cut in half. Insisting on investing a large amount of funds into technology self-research, this was achieved through the persistence and resilience of Hubble's investment in the domestic chip industry chain. If you want to ask Huawei what regrets it has, then it must be Huawei's regret that it believes too much in the United States and the West and does not develop a comprehensive chip industry chain. After gradually losing cooperation with the US technology system and cutting off the supply of TSMC OEMs, Huawei can only rely on its inventory of chips to maintain various business operations. Even if Qualcomm later obtains a shipment license from the U.S. Department of Commerce, it can only provide Huawei with the limited shipment of 4G chips is undoubtedly a drop in the bucket for Huawei's business. After experiencing a shortage of cores and soles, Huawei did not choose to give up. Instead, it chose the path of self-research of technology and independent chips. Now Huawei's Kirin chips have once again shown their dazzling light, but Huawei has to go a long way in the chip field. There are still many ways to go. Even Huawei's Yu Chengdong has said many times that he regrets that he only engaged in chip R&D and design and did not participate in the technology of the entire industry chain. There is a long road ahead, but no matter how many thorns and difficulties there are on the road to independent chip development, Huawei has not chosen to give up on the road of self-research. Huawei irrigates a large amount of funds into Huawei High Silicon every year to continuously support High Silicon's breakthroughs and climb to new heights. In addition to traditional silicon-based chips, Huawei has also set its sights on silicon photonic chips in the new track, hoping to achieve overtaking in the field of silicon photonic chips. In fact, not only Huawei, but also the Chinese Academy of Sciences and some other top domestic scientific research institutions universities, and companies are trying to catch up in the field of silicon photonic chips. In 2018, China demonstrated its first silicon photonic chip sample, but subsequent research and development did not make any breakthroughs, and there's currently no news. TSMC achieves breakthrough. It can be said that TSMC's life has not been easy in recent times. After investing 40 billion US dollars to build a factory in the United States, the United States revised its chip subsidy rules 
and Liu Dang had no choice but to announce that he would give up applying for subsidies. Due to considerations such as diversifying the supply chain, U.S. companies gave some orders to Intel and Samsung, so TSMC did not receive more orders from U.S. companies. Not only that, TSMC encountered opposition from Chinese experts and scholars in the expansion of its Nanjing factory. As a result, the German side was not very willing to build a factory in Germany, and it was gradually caught up with Samsung in terms of advanced process technology. TSMC's series of misfortunes are actually reflected in TSMC's market value and revenue. According to Singapore Media Reports, TSMC's market value has been declining since mid-June. Now, in four months, TSMC's market value has evaporated by 770%. With 100 million US dollars, we can build two TSMC US factories. It can also be seen from TSMC's September financial report and third quarter financial report data that TSMC's revenue is still in decline. In the third quarter of this year, TSMC's revenue fell by more than 10%, and TSMC's revenue decline continues. Expanding After a series of bad news, TSMC has come out with some good news. TSMC has officially announced that it will join hands with customers such as Broadcom and Intel to participate in the research and development of new technologies such as silicon photonics technology and optical packaging. And will overall the process technology is limited to between 45 to 7 nanometers. It has now entered the technical verification stage and orders are expected to be received in the second half of tomorrow. There is no doubt that while Samsung is still focusing on the 2 nanometers process, TSMC has begun to keep pace with it. When developing 2 nanometers process technology, it also focuses on silicon photonic chips. This is undoubtedly a preparation for both, even if Samsung is developing 2 nanometers process technology. In terms of manufacturing process, it has achieved overtaking in corners but TSMC still has areas where it can form a technological advantage. Judging from the current data released by TSMC, it is very likely that TSMC has solved the production problem of silicon photonic chips. This is not good news for China chip. After all, Huawei and the Chinese Academy of Sciences have previously wanted to develop silicon photonic chips, but judging from the current situation, they have undoubtedly failed to overtake in corners. However, China chip will naturally not give up because of a little setback. After all, China chip has suffered many setbacks due to its late start in the semiconductor field. China chip will only move forward in a more determined way and pace.